Have you ever considered that organization and chaos could coexist harmoniously? Today, we're diving into the book One From Many by D. Hock. This thought-provoking work introduces us to a fascinating concept, the chaotic organization, a blend of chaos and order. Now, if you're wondering what this really means, think of it as the perfect balance where creativity and structure meet, where innovation and stability find common ground. D. Hock, the man behind this idea, isn't just any thinker. He's the founder of Visa, one of the world's largest multinational financial services corporations. He used his chaotic concept to create a company that has become a household name, a corporation that stands as a testament to the potential of this unique blend of chaos and order. So how exactly does one bring chaos and order together to create a successful organization? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the intriguing world of chaotic organizations. Picture this, a small startup in the 1970s that no one could have imagined would become a global giant. This was the reality for D. Hawk when he started Bank AmeriCard, a modest credit card program under the umbrella of Bank of America. But Hawk had a vision. He saw beyond the confines of a traditional banking system and envisaged a global financial network. And so he set out to transform this little credit card program into what we know today as Visa. But what set Hawk apart was not just his entrepreneurial spirit. More than that, it was his belief in the power of decentralized organizations, a concept that was practically unheard of in the business world at the time. Hawk was not a fan of traditional hierarchical structures. Instead, he championed a model where power and decision-making were distributed across the organization, a model he believed would foster innovation and adaptability. However, implementing such a radical idea wasn't easy. Hawk faced resistance from every corner, from skeptics who doubted the viability of his concept to traditionalists who clung to established hierarchies. But Hawk stood his ground, firmly believing that his model was not just feasible, but also necessary for Visa's success. The creation of Visa was not just about establishing a new company, but also about challenging established norms and paving the way for a new kind of organizational structure. So, what does it take to lead a chaotic organization? Well, D. Hock, in his book One From Many, lays out the principles of chaotic leadership, which are quite distinct from traditional notions of leadership. He emphasizes the need for adaptability in a world that is ever-changing. A chaotic leader must be able to navigate the waters of change, and not just survive, but thrive in it. But adaptability alone is not enough. Hawk stresses the importance of a shared purpose. In a chaotic organization, everyone is working towards the same goal. This common purpose provides direction and fosters a sense of belonging among team members. Trust, too, is a vital component of chaotic leadership. Without trust, there can be no collaboration, no shared purpose, and no adaptability. Leaders must earn the trust of their teams and trust them in return. Empowerment is another key principle. In a chaotic organization, power is not concentrated at the top. Instead, everyone is empowered to make decisions, take action, and drive change. Hawk also challenges the traditional belief that leaders must control everything. In his view, control should be replaced with order. This means creating an environment where everyone knows their role understands the shared purpose, and feels empowered to contribute to it. In a chaotic organization, leadership is not about controlling, but about creating an environment where everyone can thrive. So what can we learn from one from many? Well, at the heart of Dehock's book lies the concept of chaotic organizations, a blend of chaos and order, which is precisely how Visa, a globally recognized company, was born. The book takes us through the journey of Visa's creation illuminating the principles of chaotic leadership that were instrumental in its success. These principles, while not conventional, hold immense potential for modern organizations. In a world that's rapidly evolving, the ability to balance chaos with order, to adapt, and to innovate are keys to survival and growth. The chaotic concept encourages us to embrace uncertainty and flux, to see them not as threats, but as opportunities for creation and learning. And so, as we step into the future, let's take Dehock's wisdom with us. From complexity and chaos, life emerges in all its richness. It's time to embrace the chaos and see what emerges for you.